Now let's check in with the federal races out of South Dakota. Moving over to that state, the U.S. Senate seat there up for grabs. Mark Mowry of West River, River against John Thune. We know the incumbent first elected all the way back in 2004. And Bruce Whalen also was on the ballot tonight of the Lakota Indian tribe. And it does appear that Thune has handily won that seat. We do only have 61 percent of precincts uh, reporting at this time. But with 73 percent of the vote, John Thune so far been declared the winner. Taffy Howard, a small business owner, uh, was on the ticket today, and this is for the House race. Dusty Johnson has served since 2019, and it does appear that he will once again be heading into the November general election. Let's hear from Dusty Johnson live right now in Sioux Falls. He's speaking. And so I just want to say this to the, the guys at the New Jersey Pats. You're pretty good at the air war. But you will never match the execution of this South Dakota ground game. Okay, I'm, I'll sum up because after you win an election, I think you always want to ask, well, what's next? Let's be honest, this country faces serious problems. Inflation is a mess. The southern border is a mess. Our energy policy is a mess, but ladies and gentlemen, Despite those messes, this is still the greatest country in the history of the world, and these problems are solvable. There is a red wave that will be sweeping this country in November. I am more excited than you can possibly understand to be part of the conservative leadership that is going to get this country back on the right path. And I tell you this, in my opinion and my experience, the ingredients that go into good policy are the same.